So I'm Mia and I play for England Under 19s International Youth and I'm currently playing for Sheffield United Women. So I started when I was around six um, and also my mum said I've always had a ball at my feet since I was younger. I started off at my local team which was Eccles Hill. Um, I was there for like a season but I was too young to play games so they said I only had to train which was hard because I really wanted to play the games so I just trained and trained until they said I could play games um, which obviously I was buzzing about because that's all I wanted to do for so long and then I went to Leeds um, under 12s and I was there for two under 16s so yeah that it was great because obviously I've been playing with boys and then to play with girls but the transition was really good like I felt myself fitting more like with the girls because the boys was hard because obviously boys didn't like that. I was the only girl playing and the parents was quite hard on me as well. When Mia first started on the boys team, there was a lot of, it was a bit hard for her. You know, the boys didn't like losing the ball to a girl, being tackled by a girl. Parents especially, you know, her own team were okay. Um, but in matches, you know, opposition parents used to shout things and, you know, girls didn't play football and they used to make a life quite miserable but she, she loved football and that overtook any feelings of you know, sadness or whatever. So. so I was at Leeds and then under 16s I went to Sheffield United um, and then signed my first pro contract at 16 which was like a dream come true really. Yeah, I first met Mia a couple of seasons ago, a couple of years ago when she moved and, uh, over from Leeds United. Um, first impressions was she's a very ta talented girl um, but very raw. Um, and, and someone who has, and still has, a huge amount of potential. I only really remember being with the first team from pretty much straight away, yeah. And as soon as she trained with us at the first team, it was, it was evident of how much talent she, she has. Um, her first touch was, was excellent, um, and was probably better than a lot of the first team experienced players. So um, yeah, it was, it was evident from the start that she, she was, she's got talent and she's got potential to go a long, long way. I don't think I've ever been in a team that doesn't need somebody like Mia. Um, her, her energy, her raw pace can, can change games, can impact games. I've certainly not been a part of a group that, that wouldn't have somebody like Mia in it. Um, <clears throat> a game changer. Um, the, uh, her pace, her directness, uh, her energy when she's off the ball, wanting to get back, wanting to press and do whatever's needed for the team. Um, she's a great asset to have wherever she is. When she walked through the door as a 16, she was probably the best 16 year old I've ever seen um, or ever worked with. Um, and she's got the attitude, she's got the drive, she's got the determination. She can go as far as she wants to go. So I, I fully expect her, if she, if she uh, carries on on that path, to, to be a Super League player in the near future, hopefully with us, but potentially somewhere else if not with us. Um, and I can, I can see her progressing on to be uh, a senior lioness. When I was young, obviously I played with the boys and now girls can go straight into a girls team and obviously when I was young I didn't have that and obviously now the women's game has just become even more like important as the men's so that women's in the men's game is equally the same now so I think that's like, great for the future. I want to be a lioness and obviously win the Euros and the World Cup so that's my dream. <laughs>